sorry for the setting. I was uh, cleaning this week and way overdid it. And um, because of my physical problems, um, I basically, my knee is so swollen that I can hardly bend it. So I am bedridden for the next few days because this is the only place where I can keep my knee up. <laughs> um, so you'll forgive the videos that they are not in a professional setting anymore. So, um, so who we're going to be talking to today is Diane. Now Diane uh, is an outside spirit. Um, I have not gotten to talk to her. I, I do not know her story yet. I was contacted by somebody looking for a specific spirit. My spirit said Diane. So Diane may already be spoken for. Um, if she is, then she's obviously going to be listed on eBay as a private listing. If she isn't, then she will go up as all the rest of the uh, public sales that I put up. Um, so Diane wasn't really picky about uh, what doll, so I grabbed, because all the dolls were in boxes, so I grabbed uh, the first doll that I came across, and it's this pretty little angel doll. Um, I've, and she does have wings, that's why I said an angel doll. Um, they attach to her back. Um, she is missing the bird, though, and she doesn't have the, um, her certs. But uh, she's in great shape. I've actually purchased one of these before at a thrift store. Um, and it was actually in worse shape. I had to do some work on her. But uh, this doll is in, is in pretty good shape. And she still has her little, she still has her little shoes. Yeah. Um, the wing, the back of the wings are a little manky though. Um, you can either, because this is, I, I don't even know if this is what it came with. I don't know. She might have come from a smoking household. If it's like that discolored. You can either, because this is like almost like paper mache. You could either like paint it or maybe you could like soak it in some oxyclean or something. Um, but this is the side that would be facing a wall anyway. And these with the glitter would be facing behind her and facing out. So, it's up to you. Um, so, let me put that doll over there. All right, so Diane is here. She's ready to go. So, I mean, she kind of, as soon as I said she's here and ready to go, it's just like I got that energy there. Um, Diane is like, I think she's in her early 60s. Yeah. I want to say like 64. But she's like, she still has like dark hair. She has like dark hair. Um, she has glasses and they're like the big glasses. Uh, kind of like a 19, like early 1980s. Is that one we're dating it from? early 1980s. Is that when you died, early 1980s? She always wore glasses. She showed me when she was younger and she had like, kind of like that bouffant hair from the 60s. Um, and it was like, you know, it's like thin here, but it's like all like curly and poofy at the top. And the cat's eye glasses it was like clear down here and, up, and she had the cat's eye glasses so she's always had glasses she's always like with the trends she was middle class I know she was married and she did have children Yeah, she, she was always, she always, like, I, I, she wasn't rich, but she was, like, she's always comfortable. Um, she lived a very normal life. She 
Did you say you were born in 1924? Okay. I think she had, like, diabetes. Was that congestive heart failure? So she had diabetes and she ended up dying of complications from that and congestive heart failure. She was Pentecostal. Where did you grow up? She grew up in the, uh, she's from the Midwest. I want to say like Missouri. Are you from Missouri? Missouri. It's, it's, the town starts with a C. It's like C A N. It's like C A N A or something like that. In fact, I actually do, since I'm in my bedroom, I actually do have my laptop. I should have had it open so that it wouldn't take so long. But I can actually look up what she's saying here. You said it was Missouri, right? Okay. All right, so list of cities in Missouri. Oh, come on. Don't they have it in alphabetical order? There. Better. I think I know the city. Because she said it was C A. It's like C A N A. That's it. I was like, because I was thinking like Canada. Are you from Canaloo? I know I'm saying. I kept thinking like Canada, and I'm like, there can't be a Canada, Missouri. All right. That's a pretty small town. It says in the 2010 census there were 338 people. Um, it started in 1902 as a lumber company town. Um... So, they lost some people between 2000 and 2010. There were, in 2000, there were 348 people in 125 households. And in 2010, there were 338 people in 114, so it's contracting a lot, if you think about it. I mean, it sounds like it's like 10 people in 10 years that's not a lot but you went from 125 to 114 there are 91 families and se now there are 77 families as of the 2010 and i think the largest population boom was in 1920 when she was born and it's kind of gone down since then now did you always live in yeah. 
Um. Okay. Can you? There really isn't a lot of information. I'm not really surprised about it. Can you tell me about like what your life was like? Um. Her mother was actually educated. Her mother... Did your mother go to college? Yeah, her mother went to college. Excuse you! Stop it! Between cats and kids. Um... Her mother was very big on education. And... Her mother, her mother made her take like music lessons and she had like almost like etiquette classes yeah um now, did you go to college? She said yes, but it's not like college today. What did you study? Language, like, language arts and, and... Did you want to be a writer? Yeah, she wanted to be a writer. Did you write? Did you write anything? You did. You get published? Okay. Did you write any books? No. She didn't write books. For the, for a newspaper? Okay. Now, did you work for a newspaper or did you do like op-ed pieces? Ed editorial. It wasn't op-ed, but it was more like editorial type things. Like special interest stories. And fiction. She, uh, there were a couple of magazines that published her fiction. So she, she wrote. She, she was published. Um. Now, you had... I know she had a son. Did you only have the one child? She only had one one child, and it was a son. TV? He went into TV media? Okay. She says her son was like a sportscaster. Because he loved sports, was really into it, and her son was a sport. Like, got into sports. I mean, uh, broadcast. Okay. Um, and what about your husband? What'd your husband do? He worked in sales, but he traveled. Was it insurance? It was insurance. But he traveled. So she, it was mostly her and her son. And, uh, she was very close to her son. She was like very like I don't want to say dedicated, but involved, involved with her community. And she did a lot of things. I mean, she, her like she, it wasn't just writing. She was so creative. She would uh, quilting, um, making clothes. I mean, it's like 
any creative outlet because she had like you know her husband wasn't there a lot and she had like all this time and she would just like pick up something and she was so she just has such a natural talent it's like the Midas touch whatever she tried to do it just it was beautiful she had just such a natural creative talent And that's where I see she's got like a lot of drive in her and it's the drive to be creative and to make things and to, I just heard her say contribute to the world. That's exactly what she just said, contribute to the world. She loved to contribute to the world. And it wasn't about being famous it wasn't about making money off of it when she was doing this stuff she was pouring her soul out and she wanted to create something that would bring people joy and by doing that she felt that in a way her soul would live on this is exactly the way she's saying it to me um, and strangely enough, your soul is still here. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe it worked like a horcrux. Maybe, you know, you poured so much of your soul out, you know, that, that you're here <laughs> trying to get pieces of it back. I don't know. Um, why, why did you not cross over? Did you, did you not see the light? She did. No, she saw it. There's, she's not really saying anything. I'm just getting this feeling of like uncertainty about it. She doesn't want to cross. She says there's still so much beauty in this world. She wants to see it. She doesn't want to leave it. She wants to see the beauty of the world still. And she still wants to be creative. She wants to be creative through someone. So, like, if, if you have, like, an artsy spirit or that would be perfect for her to, to help keep creating through you. Um, that's what she wants. To, that's why she didn't leave. She was not done. She said she's not done making the world beautiful. Yep. That's what she's saying. She's not done making the world beautiful. So you basically want to inspire and guide somebody into being creative in whatever facet, because you are multifaceted. So whatever facet they find their creativity in, you want to inspire and guide them. That's a noble thing. That's pretty noble. Um, is there anything else that you want to say? No, you're pretty. You're all done. You're all done. Okay, doke. So I guess that is it for Diane. And as I said, she may already be spoken for. If not, um, then she will go up and she will be listed like my other uh, eBay auctions. And if she is spoken for, it will say private listing. So, um. I guess I will see you guys in the next video, which um, I should be recording very shortly because I'm here, might as well. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again next time.